Hello, my name is Aaron Sutherland. I am a SUSE certified instructor and today in this video we're going to talk about command line skills, specifically creating user accounts. In Linux we use the user add command to create users. Now the user add command does require us to use elevated privileges so we need to either become the user root or use the sudo command to run user add. You can see here that the user add command has a lot of different options that we can use when creating a user account. The most simple version of the command is simply sudo user add and the name of the user. Now when I do this in SLES, the user account is created, but there's not a home directory that's been created for the new user. So to fix that, we need to run the user add command with the dash m switch that tells the user add command to create the home directory. Now if I do an ls on the home folder, you can see that the home directory for the new user 1 has been created. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to set a password for that user. To do that, we're going to use the passwd command. Again, this command requires elevated privileges. So sudo passwd new user1. It's going to ask me for a new password. I'm going to use just the word Linux for the demo. Now we're ready to log in as the new user. So to log in as the new user, switch user, new user1, type in the password, and there we go. We have successfully created a new user. When we create a new user in Linux, what happens in the background is there are three different files that are being written to. So I'm going to exit as this user. We're going to clear the screen, and we're going to take a look at the three different files that are being created, or being modified, when the new user is added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use grep. We're going to search for new user1 in slash etsy passwd slash etsy group and slash etsy shadow. And we want to do this with elevated privileges. So what we see here is in Etsy passwd, we have a user that's been created, or a line that's been added to the file, new user1. If there's a password, it'll be in another file. For us, that's going to be Etsy shadow. The user ID, the primary group for the user, the home folder for the user, and the default shell for the user. In the next line, in the Etsy shadow file, we see that a line or an entry has been created for new user 1 and the password for new user 1 is this hash right here followed by some password management time frames like when the account expires whether or not the account is going to give warnings when the password expires or even how long the password will be good for But that is how we create a user from the command line in Linux. Now we can also do this using yast. So all we have to do is open up yast, type in our password. And in yast, we need to go to users. So user and group management. Give this a moment to load. Once the window has loaded up, you can see that we do have the new user and the new user1 accounts that I created. 
we can create more users by clicking the add button down here type in the username and the password I'm going to use Linux as my password I will receive an error message or a warning that the password is too short so there we go there's my warning the password is too short we're going to tell it to really use the password and the new user to user account has been created so now what we want to do is we want to click OK and then we're going to switch back over to our command line and we are going to test that account by logging in as that user and here you can see we have successfully logged in as that user now we'll log out as the user now the final part here is I've created three different user accounts how do I remove them well to do that we use user Dell for user delete again that does require elevated privileges so sudo user Dell dash dash help we're gonna look at some of the options and when we create a user there's a, a home folder that gets created there's some additional files that get created for mail spool and print spool and logs and things like that we want to remove all of those in this particular example we're going to remove them all but we're going to use the dash r switch to do that so here we're going to do a sudo user del dash r new user and that user has been removed we can verify that with grep for new user in etsy passwd etsy group and etsy shadow so we don't see the new user we only see new user one and new user two so let's go ahead and rerun that command new user one Let's rerun our grep command you don't see new user one listed anymore so now we're going to do the same thing for new user two we're going to put a sudo in front of that so we can see with the contents of etsy shadow and we're not seeing anything at all for new user in any of our three files so that's it for this demo we'll have more coming along very soon you can learn more about this and many other topics that we have courses on in our e-learning website at the URL you see here on the screen. So thank you for watching and have a great day.